This guy is all CGI. Him, not me. A few days ago, his creator admitted that all those TikToks that you see were hosted by computer-generated character. Reveal in two days gained more than 10 million views. But here is the thing. My name is Art. Let's start. Unfortunately, the author of this TikTok lied because this character is not computer. -wise. But this whole idea with CGI character was created to simply gain popularity. The author did not show the real evidence of character creation. Here is a frame of character in 3D program, but there is no evidence that this is a real 3D model. Most likely it is a PNG image or or photo texture on top of the regular skeleton. Here where they are showing allegedly the synchronization of movements. But the problem is that guy on top forgot to move his legs. Pay attention to his knees. They just do similar actions. There is no motion capture. And the proof of voice processing sounds ridiculous. Just listen to it. I just deepen my voice like this and put a ton of effects and modulation to make it sound like Kurt Skelton. <laughs> Now you can ask any person who is engaged in 3D graphics, from beginners to guys from the corridor, by the way, text noise collaborate. Hollywood studios do not allow themselves to spend so much money on these type of graphics. The hair quality, interaction with it, the closing, the lightning, everything looks ahead of the planet. There is no film in this world with this type of graph, especially making the hair different every time. Here they are washed. Here they are dirty, here they are longer, here they are shorter. Physically, it's just impossible to do all this. Only if there is hundreds of people behind this account and only thing they are doing is just modeling this guy. The only thing that can justify this video is deepfake. Most likely the host is a real person plastered artificial face on him. Guys from Corridor, confirm my words. Review this TikTok account. I'm sure we will agree on this. But here's the thing, I don't want you to hate this TikTok author because he made a genius ad. Prior to this, the channel was gaining 80,000 views and this is in TikTok where I once sneezed on camera and gained couple of thousand views. The author has been making interesting videos for more than two years, but there was no feedback so I'm glad that he got viral. But all this creates completely new and to be honest, a very scary question. which one well buckle up because it will be scary and sad at the same time despite the fact that this character is not created by neural networks as author claims the technology of artificial intelligence and neural networks is fascinating when mankind was worried about the development of those technologies and eventually replacing us with those same technologies our iron cloud defense has always been they can never make art. Can a robot turn a canvas into a beautiful masterpiece? Can you? They can never express themselves as we do. They have too much mechanized processes, but here is the thing. Well, just watch. This is the footage already known to all of you. When the neural network was asked to demonstrate the last selfie on Earth, the result is frightening and does so for a variety of reasons. Because if you ask all of us what would the last selfie on Earth look like, we would imagine something like that and this artificial intelligence was able to portray what is in our heads, collecting all the references from the internet and creating this image. Basically AI went full Ultron. Yeah. This is what distinguishes authors from their audience. They all think about thing thing, but the creator, unlike their audience, can express themselves, their ideas, emotions, feelings, in such a way that everyone will understand them. Could person draw such picture? Of course, but there is a one distinguished feature that is also noticeable in other works. Hear the text of the song by Russian punk rocker Yegor Letov, an opposition leader and an adrent hater of Soviet Union and socialism in general. Text of the song was shown to AI and the task was to create pictures based on the text of the song. This is a ironic song about how everything is good under socialism 
The text of the songs need to be taken in reverb. All the pictures you see on the background was created by neural networks based on the text of the song. Let's be honest, it looks unbelievable. Looks like wildest human fantasy without any logic. Every drawing is devoted of human logic, but at the same time it is extremely understandable and compositionally beautiful. Now we all understand that artificial intelligence can express itself in art and the main thesis that people kept calm no longer works. But remember, I said that all those works of neural networks have one common thing. Think what it could be. I will give you one hint. It is the thing that people have lost. Now pause, write your versions and I'll wait. Okay, so you were right, you were true, you were wrong, you... So the answer consists of one word. Courage. All those works of artificial intelligence are incredibly bold. They feel boundless freedom and flight of fantasy, unlike human works. Sounds sad, doesn't it? But why? Why, you stupid bastard? The point is partly in those same comments. And those who were afraid to leave a comment already understand what I mean. We people are afraid of condemnation and non-exception. Especially this has developed in us with the advent of the internet. Where we essentially see the thoughts of each person because of which humanity is gradually becoming more close, losing the courage of expression and this is manifest not only in communication but also in art. The creators are afraid to not be accepted, to not be understood and to receive criticisms in their address. And those who say that they are not afraid and do everything to make their audience mad are more worried than the others. While artificial intelligence creates without being afraid of opinions, it is increasingly difficult for a person to feel freedom even in his head. You have probably noticed that this trend is developing more and more every year. The author of his works are destroyed in the comments after which they are showered with dislikes. And after which they say, well, well, <laughs> we got upset. You were right. We are sorry that we are drove you into depression. Now look, I can manipulate you and say, that's right, the corporation deserves this. Let's make 30 videos when we will hate everything and call everyone names. But the truth is, it does not work. Do not buy the product and do not increase the information field. Let's be honest, gathering in the crowd and hating something or someone is just fun. This does not bring any benefit. Marvel movies has been hated since the first phase and now we are already reaching the fifth, where film through one collect a billion box office. The games like FIFA and Madden has been drowning in hatred for 10 years. Angry Joe built a career on it. But those games are the most willing to buy. I just gave you a corporate example how hatred just does not work for them. But how about author's work? The Last of Us 2 is a crown of gaming industry. The author of the game, Neil Druckmann, is one of the few who moves the industry forward with each game. Unlike the rest, he does not treat the game as a younger brother of cinema, but steps over cinema because of which the first The Last of Us inspired dozens of films. The same Logan was obviously inspired by Drachman's game. The second part took even a bigger step, daring to speak on adult topics using innovative tools where the players through the gameplay felt the same as characters in the game. But unfortunately, the certain group of people did not understand and simply showered the author with hatred. Just think about it. The audience that wants something new and say that they are tired of the same type of games hated the person who did something completely new. Now put yourself in Drachman's shoes. You've put in your best effort, treated your audience with respect and give them the art that aims for something more than just shooting enemies or saying that capitalism is bad. But in return, you get hatred. How can you not become less courageous? 
How can you want to create something new? The public hatred hurts even the authors. The guy who played Jar Jar Binks almost committed suicide. And this guy who played Geoffrey in Game of Thrones. His character is one of the most obnoxious on the show. But the question is, why threatening a person in reality for this? As a result, an incredibly talented actor just ended his career. If this cult of rates of hatred and justification of it will continue, we indeed will live in the world when man will become an analogy of pig that can only consume. Everything will be computer generated. Music, pictures, movies, even that your perfect looking superstar. So let's change little by little because our future is in our hands. And if you want more content from me right now, you can visit my Patreon. There is more than 10 videos on it. And if you want to help to the victims of war in Ukraine, all the links will be in the description and pinned comment. Thank <laughs> you.